Well, howdy guys, I'm back at it, playing with the kayak, getting ready to go out tomorrow, maybe later tonight. All depends on how far I get. Uh, got new clothes, wife got me for my birthday. Got a few other things for my birthday for the kayak, so I'm just going to try and make this a short one, not like the last one. But uh, let's get at it. What I did is I bit the bullet. I went and bought some more of the uh, eyelets little kit get on that from Yak Attack. You get a five of them in a the kit with the screws and caps, uh, little rubber caps. So if you have a sitting kayak, you can put these over them and not get cut. But I went and got myself a couple pulleys and that using uh, the uh, keychain rings and uh, the it does go up over the bow right here but um, I can get it underneath and it will still it'll still work just grab hold of the line with the ring on it and just pull it forward or backward so that's set up. I'm going to cut this off and melt that. I don't want to leave all that slack in there. But I'm going to set some other things up. So let's get at it. This is another thing I got for my birthday. It's from Yak Air. It's a three pound grappler uh, grappling anchor kit uh, for kayaks. Uh, I already took it out of the bag. It's uh, this type here. It's Galvan. Uh, galvanized covered with galvanized and he just so I think that'll work just fine uh, it comes with the uh, rope I don't know how many feet it is a some zip ties shrink tube uh, that is so that you can do a a, a breakaway recovery uh, and a bag which I am not going to be using for the anchor but I'm going to utilize it somewhere all right first of all what they want you to do they just wanted you to loop it through and then they have in the bag they have hog rings that you pinch the rope together with and I tied a knot a couple knots then I used one hog ring and the shrink tube it comes with it also I left the other end uh, undone and the rock rig the way you do it you take the anchor and you run this in between and then you take a zip tie and you zip tie it to this end so if if and when this is going to happen that this gets hung up under uh, you know say uh, logs or rocks or whatever uh, and you pull up on it it's not going to come loose because it's digging in underneath that say a, a branch or something in this lines so if you need to get it you can't get it out you just give it a quick yank and it breaks that zip tie and now you're pulling upward this angle and it comes up comes free so uh, they gave you two little zip ties which I have a ton of these um, I'll probably throw some more in the in the kayak probably that bag there or something or just to have handy so, this is where I'm at so far you know, I'll set you down here what I have done is this is just a regular piece of four inch thin wall PVC drain pipe I cut it down to the shape of the anchor and I made this a quick deploy so uh, this will clip to the anchor trolley 
like so for quick release I do need to make a float that's the next thing I gotta do but just to pull it out drop it in the water and let me move you back a little bit and as it's going down as it's sinking it, just like I did in my uh, quick deploy hammock video it deploys it just automatically feeds line until it gets to the end I want to get a uh, tie off so that if I'm in 10 feet of water I don't need all this line uh, and I'm thinking of just making a tie a tie off somewhere here within reach and you can just zigzag it in to lock it in place and still have it as a quick release so all you got to do is just reach over and unravel it real quick and reach down and unclip it so you can get away if uh, you have an issue so that will work fine all I did is ran a bungee, bungee one of those uh, uh, tarp bungees that's all that's holding that in there I could zip tie it I put my tackle box here but whenever I, I am going to go be going out I'll probably have it up between my legs but just a bungee to hold it in place but I took these tarp straps because once this bungee was over you had no access you, you had to fight around the bungees so I took these um, canopy bungees and just fed them through and the ball won't go through the crate just fed them on through and lock it on there I'm just hoping that if I do go over that it won't uh, it won't come out. And I got two more fish holders. I zip tied these into place. I have my minnow bucket, bait bucket with the bubbler for ice fishing. Just clip that on, hang that on the back of the seat. What I am attempting to do, this is what I, I get out of the sun here, pretty bright today. I'm making a Scotty mount, which, let's go over here. They go in these lock rails. It's still kind of wet, so I'm still letting it cure. I don't want to tip it over, but what I did is I took a PVC plug. And that's a toilet uh, bolt that holds your toilet down. I got a kit. So I'm going to make two of these. Uh, well, I did make two, but one's for a camera mount. And then on the inside, I took some JB Weld to hold the nut in place. And what you do is you slide that in the mount. And now that the nut's held in place, you turn it until it's tight. And uh, the fit other fitting, which is right here, because I couldn't find the uh, a threaded to a threaded to slip adapter, so I had to go up to inch and a half uh, schedule forty. And it'll, let's see, I don't want to, <laughs> but that will thread, this, my fingers will thread in there. This will mount to the Scotty mount. And then the, like here, I have for my camera mount that I made, it just slips on the end. Same setup, but the bolt going the opposite direction so I can use my mount it's the same thread uh, 
as the as a camera mount. I can mount the camera itself or the mount this mount on it. And my waterproof housing. So if I want to dip it down into the water, like when I'm netting or releasing a fish, I can do that. But I'm gonna cut one of these down so it's short. And the other two with the 90 degree elbow, once I mount this, I can use the, I'm trying to do this one handed, should have the tripod. And then I take another piece, that part that's coming up, out of the Scotty mount, I can slip this over top of it, which will have this mount on it. And I can pivot it out away, out away from the kayak to get a different view. I can swing it away from me so it's further away. Uh, I got different ideas on what I am, so I can get some pretty decent shots and different video. There's my you seen that in the other video. My camera mount with the uh, uh, monopod. And that would be nice just to be able to grab hold of that and dip it in the water or whatever I want to do with it. Okay, well, I got this sitting out in the sun. Waiting for it to cure. It's still a little tacky, so it's going to take a while. But I did a couple more mods. I took a piece of that pipe and I'm going to paint this, but it slips down in the rod holder perfectly. It's down in about that far. It don't move. And I can cut a slot just so I can get my pull up higher because it's so deep that the that, uh, reel was hitting on the kayak. Uh, I thought about making one for the other side, but I decided I'm going to keep that just for my camera that camera mount so I can get to it pull it in and out put it up front if I need to these I'm going to paint these are extensions for the mount once I mount it to the Scotty rail and then I can put a 45 and I can angle another 45 I can get that camera way out and get a side shot and I took a old hip uh, pouch from a pair of Bushnell uh, binoculars I had which broke and clean that up but I just strapped it to the seat so I can throw my phone in my wallet and whatever in there I ain't guaranteeing it's waterproof but hey better than nothing but other than that I am ready I just threw some extra pieces. There's the camera mount part. A little short extension. I'm going to drill a hole in the side of here so I can clip this. So if I do go over, it's not going to come out. Just a few little things here and there. Another bungee maybe to hold this down. I'll probably, good possibility I can make it, you know, just float it behind me. But if I'm going to use the bubbler, then I want to be able to keep it strapped in. Well that's it for now. It's getting about one o'clock time for lunch. I got a few things I gotta get done around the house. I gotta move the yard it's getting bad. But uh yeah we're gonna have her out tomorrow. So if you like the video go ahead and give me a thumbs up and not the finger. Click that subscribe button. It's right there. The bell notification click it. It'll give you three options. Click all. I'll let you know whenever I have my next video posted. Leave a comment. I'd like to hear from you. And hopefully we will see you later. Bye.